Hello and welcome to FEM Expert. Today we will present you a medium tutorial in which we will show you how to define surface to surface contacts in ANSYS. As usual, we will start with the ANSYS, uh, with the ANSYS interface. So the example that we're going to do today is two surfaces on top of each other having a bonded contact and then simulate them to see that actually the contact it is working. So the first step for us will be uh, going to the preprocessor. We're, go we're going to define the element type as element type number one is shell 1A1. The, um, then we should go to the material properties. For the material properties, we have material properties density. For the material number one, 7,800 kilograms per cubic meter. Then material properties, the Young's modulus, 2.1 exponential 11. Material properties, sorry, e, Young's modulus, material one, 2.1 E11. And finally, material property Poisson's coefficient PRXY for material 1 is 0 0.3. We can check those things by going to element type, add the delete. We have shell 181, and then we can go to material properties, material models, and here we can check 2.11, 0 0.3, and the density is correct. Then our next step is to go to define the sections for the shells that we're going to have so sec type that comma number one the type is shell and the sec data is going to be five, uh, three millimeters so three divided by a thousand so once we have defined the section all we have to do right now is define uh, create the shells so what we're going to do for that, we're going to use the rectangle command, rectangle, and we're going to put the coordinates on our global coordinate system, which is the one on the screen. So for x1, 0, x2, 100 divided by 1,000, 0, 100 divided by 1,000. Now we're going to create a second one on one of these corners. So for that, we're going to go to rectangle. We can actually go with the down button, take the one that we have and put here 50 divided by a thousand and 50 divided by a thousand. As soon as we have done that, you'll see that we have two areas. Area number one is the big one and area number two is the small one on the corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to restrict the big area and we're going to play, like apply an acceleration on the small area to see that the contact has successful, successfully worked. So the contacts can only be put uh, when you already have the model, the, the meshed models. So for that, well, we have to f first mesh the models. Uh, first, we're going to tell ANSYS that these areas have those properties, the properties that we have just defined. So AATT areas area attributes material number one there's no real comma type number one element size in section number one then we're going to select the the size this is going to be e size comma 10 divided by a thousand 10 millimeters okay and then we're going to do an a mesh comma all we have both the areas although you cannot properly see them they are there we can actually look at the areas you can see the areas because they share the same meshing but if you do like for example like k point list you'll see that here there are two k points one belongs to the big area and another one belongs to the small area so now what we want to do is uh, we're going to put the restrictions the accelerations and then do the contacts so for the restrictions we're going to put restrictions on all of the four corners of the big area in order to do that we need to select the key points uh, attached to the to that area for that we're going to do we're going to select that area so a cell s comma peak select area number one and then we're going to do lines selected lines links to link to areas comma s 
to select and we can see an L plot we only have those lines and key points line linked to lines select and we're going to see the key points there's only actually four key points we're going to do the dk comma p and select all these four key points you have seen there's no message of repeated key points we're going to select ok all degrees of freedom zero and we have the restrictions we do an all cell a, a plot and in order to put an acceleration only on this component we have to do a similar approach a cell comma s comma pick we select this area okay a plot and now we're going to do the elements linked to the areas select a plot and we're going to create a, a, a group with cm component manager component create component na na named a2 from area 2 and the entities elements now we're going to select all a plot again and for the acceleration we're going to apply a cm a cell acceleration on component on component a2 and we're going to have a 9.81 on x and a minus 9.81 on Z. So that acceleration should make the the small shell try to lift from the big shell. So if there's the contact is not properly made, we will get an, uh, an an error message. So now for the contacts, the contacts are a pretty complex um, issue, both mathematically and in ANSYS. So we're going to show you like the simple way to do contacts. But based on this simple way, whenever you have to do something, you will need to uh, get more more information from the help of ANSYS. Okay, so we're gonna proceed. We're gonna go here to the contact manager. This is a pretty useful useful tool for ANSYS. So while you're in the preprocessor, you have to go to the contact wizard. This area is not always easy, so you gotta. There's a target surface and there's a um, contact surface. You sh should be reading all this stuff from help. So I'm just but we're just gonna show you because usually you have a target surface would be like for example a yellow one, and your contact surface would be the green one. Um, you have to have these pairs. One of them is like a passive and the other one is the active. You can also if you have if you don't need this kind of thing you can do them both ways one is targeting and then it's um, contact but we'll, we'll show you the methodology and if you need more information you just know how to get to the help so we're gonna hit the target surface is gonna be an area we're gonna pick a target area number one the big area we're gonna go next and we're gonna have nodes we're going to have another area, the contact is going to be another area, and the element type is going to be nodes to surface. If you don't do it this way, it gives more problems, so we advise you to have this configuration by default. So we're going to pick another contact, it's going to be uh, area number two. You hit OK, next. You can create symmetric pairs if you want, depending on the type of contact you're doing, because if you don't have a symmetric pair, the contact will work one way but not the other way you hit create it will ask talk, talk to you about the orientation of the surfaces but because we're going to do a bonded contact we don't care about it right now you hit finish and then you have to go into the properties there's a very there's a ton of properties here what you're interested in right now is a type of contact. The standard contact is a pretty complex frictional contact. But what we need is a bonded always or bonded. This will simulate that those areas are glued to each other basically. So it's going to be a bonded always, flexible contact, nose to surface. You can actually plot these contacts, the, the, the elements of the contact. Um, in fact, the contacts represent new elements. They are defined by new element type, which is contact 185. You could do it otherwise than we're doing it, but you, the contact manager makes things a lot easier. So anyway, right now we have the contacts, we have everything defined. You can do an all cell solo to get to the solution menu and solve. 
we'll get a warning, yes. And you'll see, the first thing that you'll see is that ANSYS changes into the convergence uh, iter iteration absolute, uh, absolute conversion graphic. This is because normally the contacts have conversion criteria, they have to converge. And this will, you'll have a lot of problems with the more complex contacts. Okay, so now we close this, we go to the post processor and we plot the summation of displacements. As you could see, although these two were not linked to each other by anything else, the small area is pulling on the big area, determining it to the form. We're going to look at the vomesis stress. You see that the the plotting of the stresses is, can be a little bit tricky because here you have many types of elements. In fact, you have three, two elements per location. You have the element, the contact elements and the regular elements. So we could do, for example, a selection of element of the type number one and then, then do the plotting of the vomesis stress. You can see here tensions. We have the same thing here, but we could try to, well, here we have that problem because we have two things on top of each other, which are two shells. But anyway, you can see the main idea. We're going to do the last thing. It's going to do the PL vect that you, you can see the displacement vector here, how it's happening. And then before we stop this tutorial, I'm going to show you what happens if you change this contact into something else. So we go to Contact Manager. You have to be in the preprocessor to be able to use these options to the properties. And we change this contact to from bonded to standard. We hit OK. Go here. Go to Solu. Solve. And it will tell you that there is a problem, that there's some kind of movement that is not, is not converging. That means that your model is not res completely restricted. So because this area is not having a proper content, it's just going up. And this cannot solve this as an static solution. So, so, f so this is it for right now. As I said before, there's multiple options in the contacts the definition, the mathematical definitions and multiple things that you need to use only if you're interested in them and read about them. So right now you will probably learn how to use the contacts in a very simplified way in ANSYS. We would like to thank you for your attention and we hope you enjoyed this presentation. For more tutorials, please visit our community and follow us on the social media.